Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna look at a hard drive failure. I was just recording another video uh, where I was putting in the RAID controller, the server RAID M5015 and I put in some disks and one of them was a predicted failure and that was all good. I knew that was a predicted that it had a predicted failure and then I was doing another video uh, for my Patreon channel thing, the Patreon stuff and th then the server started beeping and it has another disk error so I thought that was exciting enough to grab the camera again and uh, let's have a look at that. Down here number three and number four is uh, marking out that they are um, bad-ish. Over here at the light path diagnostic thing we also get a DASD uh, which also means that there is a disk error. So um, yep we have to do something about that don't we? Luckily I have a lot of discs so I went out and saw these should all be 146 gigabytes these are written PF on and that is uh, my way of telling myself that these are drives that has predicted failures just like this yellow one the red one on the other hand that has totally failed so let's uh, let's press the one and see what that comes up with not much information on that except down here the physical drive state has just failed so that's uh, that's a thing let's press next not really so not good let's go home so I think we need to exchange the red drive right so let's um first we should kind of see what drives are in this we will see that on the drive that one up there that's the actual product number so this uh, ends on 632 and the frequent replacement uh, unit number is 633 which is also the number that is talked about on the end of the drive so when you have a drive like this that has failed like this you should be able to go down here and search for this number now this is just my test server so I see that I have a lot of different stuff in here I have 633 I have 678 and I do believe that there's 678 that's a 15,000 RPM and the other ones this one that has the predicted failure one that should be a 15,000 RPMs and this one which has failed is something completely different so I think we will try and take that out and see what it is because mm, there's nothing on this label so number four is that's number five actually one two three four five number five we'll check that out oh it has become very very hot I can tell you that it's it's too hot to handle so this is also a bad drive. It, it has someone has written that it's defective um, and where it has been sitting when it was in real use. So this one is no good anymore. And this is actually from it has been sitting in a power system, an AEX Linux thing. It has failed in one of those, and I've gotten it. So. Well, too bad. This has probably been a very expensive drive back in the day. Even though it has been sitting in a power system, it has the same number. It's a 42D0633. So the same one as that one. So let's see if we have one of those. Maybe. Mm. Oh, it actually just seemed like I have more than just one. Ah, I have six of those. So let's just take one of those. This these should be good mm, but you never know so let's pop that in the system recognizes it and starts to check it out it has already taken it in it's uh, starting to rebuild on it and it, it became kind of, it's kind of a goldish color right now so it's uh, rebuilding it's still 
blinking orange yellow down here I installed this RAID on RAID 6 one of the big benefits of RAID 6 is the speed in which it rebuilds uh, that is really good compared to RAID 5 in RAID 5 when you lose a drive you also lose the checksum whole array so everything has to be recalculated when rebuilding the array also when you're using data on a degraded like you can see here the whole array is right now degraded because of the disks missing but on a rate 6 you will not go down in performance as much as on a rate 5 because on a rate 5 when you lose one disk uh, every data that it has to read and write will have to be calculated again but on a rate 6 you uh, you don't do that it still has one good drive if you lose one more it has to do that so that's uh, kind of how that adds up so I'll give this a little bit and we will see if um, this does not become good and I do believe that I have to remember to write on that disk that it's bad even though it's already marked as bad okay. it's still rebuilding but I just happen to feel that the drives becomes really hot so I think I'll put the lead on so that the airflow is better in the server this um, make so that the air has to go through the drives to cool to get to the other side yeah. well people ask how much noise these servers make it's not really a nice noise if you have to live with it in your room but uh, put it in uh, the next room and you should be okay it's not worse than that i have been looking at number three here and was very curious of why it wasn't doing anything it was just lining up uh, amber or yellow or orange or what color this is um, orange is my best guess um, and I think it has failed on me now we are down to a RAID 5 actually if one more disk had crashed we would have lost the array which uh, consists of absolutely nothing so uh, nothing lost but still the number 5 drive has rebuilt the number 4 drive has failed and it still failed up here so um, I think we'll replace that as well see if we can get this all good this is a 678 drive if we take this out reach we can see that this is a 15,000 rpm drive and I just happened to not have any of those laying around so we will have to put in I have to have to put on P PF on this so that I know that it's uh, failed and it's it's also dead yeah. so I'll have to take in put in one of the 10,000 rpm drives uh, instead but I'll follow this normally you want to put in one exactly the same or if you have to uh, put in something else put in something better but now it's checking it out again and it will be uh, rebuilding as well we can just rescan it and see it on the computer yes it uh, turned goldish and is now telling me out here that it's rebuilding and the virtual drive up here has gone to partially degraded this probably means that it's not gonna take as long to rebuild as it did uh, last time let's see if we can get some good uh, view of that if we press that one we get the RAID 6 status here partially degraded there and we should be able to see the progress down here there PD progress info if we press that we can see how far it is with the rebuilding it has rebuilt 8% now and is uh, continuing to go up as 9% so I will come back when it has uh, done this okay that has now completed all eight drives are lighting and blinking green that's awesome it has gone to this screen let's 
everything is green let's go home see if everything is green there as well I really think it should be green 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 cool and if we press this one the volume we can see that it's optimal and there is background initialization in progress that's what the drives does when you just create an array and why it's blinking so much it's initializing all the drives making the perfect array ready and uh, getting ready to receive data like it's it's partitioning it and making it ready you can already begin to store data on it it will be a little bit slower until it's done with this um, background initialization there so you have to keep that in mind if you want to do any kind of um, speed test on on a system like this you have to wait until it's done with the background initialization so that's cool um, this took a while I actually did another video in the meanwhile while we were waiting on this so I over here I have a stack of drives that I just um, had a lot of talk of it so you will be seeing that video in a couple of videos or something like that so well that will be coming up so this was just a video I kind of did because this drive failed in the middle of everything I was well the camera was charging but I was preparing for the next video and then I had a drive failure and I thought it was kind of interesting because we just did another video on this system where I put in the drives and then it failed and well so as a server administrator that's something you get close to every day failing hard drives when you have a big data center there will be failing hard drives we have hard drives running that are 10 years old and they have to uh, be exchanged from time to time when a hard drive has been running for 10 years it has done good so it's you can't really complain when it fails after 10 years of production right so um, well I do hope you got something out of this, um, at least you saw how the program works and what to look out for. And I also learned something, I was so sure that the yellow one be okay as long as it was yellow, but it seemed that it didn't really change the color. Maybe my firmware is too old because I just installed this rate controller in the last video, so maybe I should go firmware update that. It's just such a drag, it's... yeah. It's no fun upgrading the firmware. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.